now I want to tell you about a few things we tried that were complete failures. So um, we, last year we tried using a giant tarp to pull over the top, the outside of the greenhouse on cold nights, thinking we would get a lot better insulation that way. I was drawing on the model of passive solar Chinese greenhouses that use an insulated blanket over the outside of the greenhouse at night. Ours, however, was not insulated. It was just a tarp. There wasn't really any airspace between the plastic of the greenhouse and the tarp, and it made a very minimal difference in the inside temperature of the greenhouse, and it was a lot of work. Another thing we tried last year was using this aeration tube, and we put it through the middle of the compost bin. I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great to get some of this heat that's in the compost pile and just feed that into the air of the greenhouse and increase the overall temperature a bit. But instead what happened is we drew all that stinky smell from the middle of the compost bin and, and let it out into the rest of the greenhouse and it was bad. Normally our compost piles don't smell at all because they're completely covered on all sides with wood chips. So you can walk in right after it's made and, and it's clean smelling. And the last thing that we tried was doing a very small compost bin right along here. So I wasn't sure that this would work because the volume is so small on it, but I thought it, I thought it might. This is only, when we built it, it was a little higher. So it was about a foot tall by two foot um, deep. And uh, it did heat up, but it didn't heat up to very hot temperature and it cooled down really quickly. So it ended up being really ineffectual.